You're watching RT International live from Moscow with me, Nadira Tudor. Welcome to the program. Commission Chief will become the first top Brussels official to visit Russia since relations between the two soured in 2014. Jean-Claude Juncker will attend an annual economic forum that will take place in St. Petersburg next month. RT's Peter Oliver has more. Sanctions were imposed on Russia two years ago with many world leaders backing the move. We asked Patrick Young, an expert in global financial markets, what he thinks is going on. ISIL suffers another loss as Iraqi troops enter the city of Fallujah. We'll tell you more about that story after this break. Meanwhile, one Chinese factory is using Trump's image quite literally. They're getting ready for his potential presidential victory by making face masks. While potential candidates are dreaming of getting their hands on the White House, its current residence is planning for life after it. Next on RT International, Sophie Coe looks at whether the EU can turn the trend of right-wingers gaining popularity across Europe. And if you're watching us in the UK or Ireland, the UK Foreign Affairs Committee chief shares his impressions from a visit last week to Russia. A leaked email shows growing disagreements between the EU and US as they remain locked in secretive negotiations over a free trade deal known as TTIP. The EU Commission has sent a letter to the ambassadors of all member states in Brussels. In the document, the US is called to focus more on Europe's interests if it wants to complete the talks under the Obama administration. Europeans critical of the TTIP deal is that it could leave them without their traditional and much cherished delicacies. A leaked email shows growing disagreements between the EU and US as they remain locked in secretive negotiations over a free trade deal known as TTIP. The EU Commission has sent a letter to the ambassadors of all member states in Brussels. In the document, the US is called to focus more on Europe's interests if it wants to complete the talks under the Obama administration. Europeans critical of the TTIP deal is that it could leave them without their traditional and much cherished delicacies. Of US troops on the front line in Iraq. Washington has now admitted its forces are involved in fighting, despite previously stating its mission was to strictly advise and assist. RT's Ghana Chichikan picks up the story. Get reaction to the doping scandal hanging over British four time Olympic gold medalist Mo Farah in war torn parts of Africa. Don't go away. The Churkin's death, but several media reports have suggested he suffered a heart attack. Meanwhile, many members of the diplomatic community have paid tribute to the work he carried out during his lengthy career. Coming up next on RT, the impact of sport on children with special needs, discussed in the latest episode of Worlds Apart.